Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is short subject number 26 entitled What size Alora's tool post do you need? And yes, size matters. Real brief history here. In 1970, Frank Sarola patented the quick change tool post and he named it after his own name spelled backwards. So Sorolla backwards is a loris. I've said that in many other videos. The most recent Aloris catalog I have is November of 92. That makes it over 30 years old. Now you can find a similar copy of this on their website www.alorastools.com. I don't think they print a paper catalog anymore, but there's some really great information in here regarding sizes. So look this up if you want to. This is part of the catalog and these are recommendations for lathe sizes and what size tool post do you need. And there it is. Probably about every American lathe made from day one. These tool posts are made in six sizes. This is the smallest size AXA, this is the next size BXA, and those are the two that you would more than likely need in your home shop for smaller lathes. So they work their way clear up from A, B, and then there's a C, D, and E series as well, and they get incredibly expensive as they get larger. I'll tell you right now, that the small one here, the AXA, is what you want for your South Bend 9 and 10 inch lathes, your 10 inch Logans, and your 10 and 12 inch Atlas Craftsman lathes. So this will be the most common one. And the current price at MSC is $408. Really not bad when you consider that the dollar is only worth a dime. So this is a $40 tool post. I doubt that you will find many of them used in good condition. And if you do on Feebay or someplace like that, I think they are still very expensive. And then if you have a little bit larger lathe, you need the BXA and that's $490. Or should we say $49 adjusted for inflation. And this is the size that you would use on machines probably from 12 inch up to 15 inches. On this page of the Aloris catalog you will find the sizes and dimensions for each and every one of these tool posts as well as the dimensions for the various tool holders and there are many many of them which will be the subject of follow-up videos. Here's the Aloris AXA on a 12 inch Craftsman Atlas lathe. Notice that it is perfectly proportioned. And here's the BXA on a 12 inch clausing lathe. Also just perfect fit and perfect proportion. But wait, again this is the BXA, but you can use an AXA on a machine this size. However, it doesn't always reach up to the right height and it looks a little puny, but make yourself a spacer block. Now this is just made out of PVC, it could be steel or darn near anything you want and that would raise it up to the correct height. So this A would be usable on some larger lathes. However, you would not be able to use the B on a smaller lathe such as an Atlas or a Logan. Here's a little bit of worthless information. The much, much older Alora's tool post had a tapered handle. It was so elegant looking compared to the straight material, but it would cost a lot more to make the taper and I think those probably go back to the 60s and 70s but I did have one at the high school but I do not here it's strictly about 5 eighths round but a taper sure does look good. When you purchase your Alora's tool posts you're going to get a blank T-nut so you have to machine them to, to fit your compound they will have the hole drilled and tapped. Some of these are homemade and then I always mark them for the machine that they go in. For instance, this one says South Bend. Some people call these tool posts dovetail type because there are two dovetails here. And on the better models like this AXA here, as you turn the handle, 
there is a wedge here and that's what tightens and loosens your tool holder within the tool post and both sides are operating at the same time now the piston type has a piston there and there so when you're tightening up your tool holder as you turn the handle the piston moves out and that's what tightens up the tool holder and here's why I like this wedge type as you put your tool holder on there and then tighten it up you can feel it tighten up and squeeze and it's a very satisfying feeling as you tighten that up but on the piston type tool post you mount your tool holder on there and tighten it down I, I don't like the feeling that I get with the handle here as opposed to the wedge type but it still seems to work and that's just my personal opinion some of you may be on a budget again this number AXA costs four hundred eight dollars but if you buy one from Shars it, it'll be an import but it'll be a hundred and twenty five dollars also this as I just said was four hundred ninety six dollars from uh, MSC but you can get it from Shars for $160 of course it's made in China but they appear to be quite good now I don't have a Model C to show you but if I did it's $677 and of course they go on up from there so you can see that they aren't really very affordable you are looking at the 2020 Shars catalog and if you want a package deal here they offer the piston type tool post along with five tool holders for hundred and seventy five dollars I'm sure the price is up a little bit this is being filmed in 2023 and if you want the wedge type from Shars in the A size it is two hundred and thirty dollars and in the B size it would be three hundred dollars and of course many of you are still using lantern type tool posts and I must confess that I still like these and use them from time to time but that pretty much concludes this video and this should give you a good idea of what size you need for your machine that is also available in the catalogs they different recommendations for different size machines so be sure and look at those catalogs whether it be a paper one or on the internet now if you like this video you'll like the next two even more and let me tell you what they're they are all about so the following video will feature these tool holders and I have about 25 of them in the A size so I'll go through all of them explain their purpose and their uses and their good points and bad points and in short subject video number 28 I will talk about the dozen or more tool holders that I have in the B size that I use on my larger lathe so be sure and watch those videos when they are available leave me a comment if you like this video and I'll see you next time